Hey everyone, we are going to continue with calculus on parametric curves. Specifically in this video, we're going to find the second derivative as a function of our parameter t. So in the previous video, we went over the formulas for finding the first and second derivative given parametric equations for a curve. So we're going to use the second derivative formula this time. So example, find the second derivative of y with respect to x as a function of t if x is t minus sine t and y is 1 minus cosine t. So this is the parametric equations that define our curve in space and our parameter or input is t. So our first step is to express our first derivative, which is dy dx, in terms of t. So from our formula that we talked about um, just a minute ago and in the previous video, we know that this is the derivative of y with respect to t, so this derivative divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. So we're going to just calculate each of those derivatives using what we know about um, trig functions in this example. So on top, derivative of 1 is 0, so that's gone. Derivative of cosine is negative sine, so the negative that was already there turns the numerator positive. And then on bottom, the derivative of t was 1, and the derivative of sine was cosine t. Okay, so there's our first derivative. That is our first step, and it's the first derivative in terms of t. Our next step is to find the derivative of the derivative. So the derivative of y prime with respect to t is just the derivative of what we just came up with. Okay, so we're just differentiating again. So this time, our derivative here, you are going to have to use your quotient rule because of how this function looks. So according to our quotient rule, we have the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. All right, and then the derivative of sine is cosine t, and over here this derivative is going to be sine t. All right, so we have cosine t times this quantity minus sine t times itself all over the bottom squared. And then if we just simplify a little bit, let's distribute this cosine t. We get cosine t minus cosine squared t minus sine squared t. All right, at this point, and actually one step back, we were, we're basically on algebra right now. We're doing our algebra steps and some trig, some um, identities and stuff might be useful here. So if you notice, anytime you have a cosine squared and a sine squared, if you can get this to be a plus sign in between, that's your nice Pythagorean identity. So we're going to factor out that negative sign. And then so cosine squared plus sine squared, that's just 1. So on top, we end up with cosine t minus 1. And then now another um, interesting thing to think about, or if you see this, anytime you have a factor that you possibly think should divide out, because like if you think about it, the numerator looks pretty similar to the denominator, but the difference is their signs, factor out a negative 1. If you factor out a negative 1, in this case, what you'll find is that the numerator and the denominator have the same factor. So if I just take out a negative 1, I end up with a negative cosine and a positive 1, which matches the denominator. Okay? You can rearrange it if it's easier for you to see. And so divide out the common factor, and you end up with negative 1 over 1 minus cosine t. So this is almost to the end, but we have one more step. So we're going to take this answer so far and keep going. So we found our derivative of y prime with respect to t, but now we need to find the derivative with respect to x. So now we're going to go back to the fact that these were parametric equations. And so we're going to divide what we just found, the derivative of y prime with respect to t, by the derivative of x with respect to t. Okay, so here's our formula for our second derivative of y with respect to x. And then we just fill in what we know. We just did a lot of work to figure out this numerator, and the denominator is just our x function, but the derivative of it. So let's differentiate, and that den um, denominator becomes 1 minus cosine t, and then we just simplify. In this case, you can flip and multiply, multiply by the reciprocal, and final answer, our second derivative of y with respect to x is negative 1 over 1 minus cosine t quantity squared. So this is the second derivative of y with respect to x in terms of our parameter t. All right, that's it for this one, and we'll do more examples in more videos.